Hey guys, Brad with Redbeard Seasonings here. Today we are going to smoke some beef short ribs. So I've got a package of two here. Um, they were cut individually by the butcher shop. Um, these have been thawed out. They're, if you'll notice here, they've already removed the fat cap on the top side. If you buy beef short ribs and they have the fat cap on, uh, I would recommend trimming that off so that they look nice and clean like that. Ribs, we have, like on pork ribs, the membrane on the bottom. So I'm going to flip these over and I'm going to fast forward through this part. These are a lot tougher than pork ribs are. The membrane's a little bit thicker. So I'm going to take these and get this membrane off here and we'll be right back. I've found that the when you look at the bottom side of beef spare ribs, um, my local butcher shop cut these into sections. They cut through the bone already so that after you cook them, you can cut them into pieces. Um, you don't have to do that. You can cook them whole. I'm going to cook them whole and then cut them afterwards. Uh, but I found that the easiest way, the bone here is on the top side. If you stick a fork or a knife under the membrane where the bone is at it's easier to get the whole membrane started so that you can pull it off because if you start down here where the meat is um, it's gonna you're gonna dig into the meat it's gonna be a little bit harder to get the full membrane and get it off in one piece Um, there's a little bit of the silver skin here on the top of this rib. And go ahead and slice that off. It just doesn't uh, taste as good. So what we're going to do next is going to take some stadium mustard and rub on all four sides of these to use as a binder. comes to the binder you can use uh, spicy brown mustard, stadium mustard, you can use olive oil, you can use any type of um, cooking oil really, um, regular mustard, whatever your preference is. Once we have the binder on we're going to apply a generous amount of dry rub. Um, today I'm going to be using the Red Beard Seasonings blend of steak seasoning for these. Um, this is not for sale yet, but it's in the works. Close-up picture of it there. Uh, it will be for sale on our website soon. So once we've got the binder on, got the dry rub on, we're going to take these out, put them directly on the rack. We're going to cook at 275 degrees Fahrenheit, probably about four hours roughly. Um, we'll watch the internal temp obviously to make the final pull. Um, I'm going to cook these today with some whiskey barrel wood chips. Uh, I think the flavor complements the beef. You can use any type of wood you want. You can use hickory, mesquite, apple, cherry, um, any of those will work fine. Just preference. So. We'll get these in the smoker and we'll be back soon. Okay, so it's been about an hour. Every hour during the cook, you want to spritz the short ribs with um, beef stock. I'm also going to add some more wood chips to the firebox. 
been about four hours. Um, internal temps up to 165. I just pulled these out. I'm going to wrap them, spritz with some more beef stock, and then put back in the smoker. I'm going to up the temperature to 325, and then we're going to hold tight until we reach an internal of 200. So we finished out the cook with two hours uh, with these short ribs wrapped. And they're falling off the bone as you can see. Got a really nice bark on them. Let's go ahead and slice one of these bad boys open. Just Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe and hit the like button for more videos to come. Thank you.